Okay, good morning. Good, uh, good morning, everybody. It's the 30th day of spring, which is the last day of spring, so it's almost time for summer. I don't have my watering can because I handed it into the blacksmith, so I, I hopefully I won't need to water my crops. Hopefully, I mean, if I did all my little calculations correctly, everything should be ready to harvest today. Uh, so I'm gonna need the sickle and the brush and the fishing rod because I'm gonna need some food because I did some legit pre-planning for summer on my dry erase board and in a notebook of mine and uh, it's gonna be pretty legit I have a lot of work to do though to get uh, get everything ready for the golden watering can since it can water differently and also for other crops but yeah, it looks like everything's harvestable, so that's good. Everything went according to plan there. Uh, and then I'll, I'll also get rid of the breadfruit. The way you do that is with the sickle. That's why I brought that out, if you were wondering. Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and do that and talk to you guys after I finish. And okay, so it also looks like one of our potatoes didn't quite make it, but that's okay. We'll cut that up. Um, you'll probably have noticed that I stored, or I meant to store, most of my potatoes. Um, the reason for that is that Theodore, the mayor, uh, likes potatoes a lot. So, uh, we want to befriend Theodore because I want to purchase some more property for summer. Um, so that's why I'm keeping the potatoes around, so I'll give one to Theodore every time I see him. I think I see him right now down on the little mini-map. So I'll head over to him, and then also go attend to the chickens and animals and such. So, yeah. Yeah, Theodore usually hangs out around the town square. It's pretty normal to see him around here. But yeah, you can look on your mini-map for uh, anybody that you might be looking for, and they'll appear there, their little face, unless they're indoors. But Theodore's usually outdoors, so... See? You hear how excited he is? Oh, you don't mind? Thank you, I'm happy. You get lots of hearts when you give them something that they really like. Uh, I mean, like hearts in the air, like they appear above the character. So that's, that's kind of cool. So by the way, I don't think that I've mentioned this before, but in the chicken coop, I think the max number of chickens that you can have is five, because usually you put the feed in this little feeding bin, and uh, then the chickens will eat it themselves, though I prefer to feed it to them by hand. But you'll notice there are only five little squares for you to put feed in, so this leads me to think that there you can only have five chickens in the chicken coop, which is why I didn't put an egg in the incubator. Uh, you can actually still put an egg in the incubator, and it will grow up, sort of, but um, it won't hatch until you uh, sell one of your chickens. So, since I'm not planning on selling any of my chickens, I might as well just ship every egg from now on and not worry about putting them in the incubator. So, that's my... that's, that's the theory there. Let's see, it's almost noon. Now, I have lots of stuff to do. Um, we're not actually going to be able to plant any crops until, I think, the second of summer. So, but but I still have lots of stuff that I, I need to get done before then. Um, I need to go to the mine a little bit more. I need to do a lot of plowing of the ground to try to um, get, get that all ready. Um, I also need to figure out some stuff. Hold on, I'm going to look on... This, this. Just, just hold on a second. I'm gonna try to figure some stuff out. 
Okay, so it looks like I have enough money, so I need to buy this, uh, the town property, and I, since I have 7,000, I'll go ahead and buy it right now. Um, uh, hold on, let me figure some more stuff out. I'm kind of unsure about all this. Okay, I think I figured out what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to move the chicken coop today from the ocean property to the town, to the river property. So I'm going to move it all the way away from the barn property and all the way up here to where our current house is. And then I'm also going to move the house eventually when I get a chance to do that. But the reason for that is uh, once I move the house, there's not going to be a shipping box in the river property. So I'm moving the chicken coop there so that there is a shipping box. And... Okay, looks like that's all that I can do at this point for today. At least with them. Which is okay. Um, let's see. I should finish that fence now that it has... Well, tomorrow it'll have... The chicken coop will be gone. So I guess I won't need to fix it until tomorrow. Um, in that case... What else should I do? I think I should start on the... Well, I need to do some fishing and then also... Ugh, okay. I'm just gonna get to preparing everything for summer. So this will involve quite a lot of boring plowing. And, um, eventually I'll go to the mine, but I don't think I'll have time to do that today. So, okay, I'm probably just gonna fast forward this because it's gonna be really boring. So, yeah, see you later. By the way, when you relocate something, this appears, uh, if you didn't figure that out. Uh, it, I think relocation only takes a day, so that should be gone by tomorrow and replaced with the chicken coop, but it basically shows you where the thing is going to go. Um, so it's time to cut down these trees. I know, they're beautiful scenery, but in order for my, uh, my plans to work out, these trees need to be gone. They're in the way. So, while it would be nice if I had a more leveled up axe, I don't, but uh, this is what you do. You just kind of swing at the trees for a while, and it takes a lot of blows, but eventually it'll it'll fall down. It looks kind of cool, actually, but I mean, I, I had like full energy when I started attacking this tree. There, there it goes. Timber! And you only get three lumber. Well, obviously sometimes you get more than that, but... Yeah, that's that's what that's what it looks like when you cut down a tree. So I'm cutting down both of these trees uh, to make room for crops, actually. So um, yeah, I'll continue all along with that and talk to you guys later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 